Hello my dear friends, this is me Gokul Das again with my fourth episode. Gonna share with you my experience about attending an MUN. So, before going to the experience of my attending an MUN, I would like to tell you about MUN. What is MUN? So, the full form of MUN is It is model United Nations. So, what do you mean by model United Nations? MUN is nothing but a place where you can learn about diplomacy. international relations and United Nations. The term diplomacy means establishing relationships by conducting negotiations with the delegates of other countries. So that's what diplomacy means. And International relations means to establish the same relationship by signing treaties that is some notions for a good cause or something to show a support that you want to support uh, establishing the treaty. So that's what international relations mean. And the United Nations. Okay. You would have learned in class 9th or 10th, I guess so, about United Nations for the first time. So it, it contains six principles of organs. That is one, trusteeship council, two, security council, three, general assembly, four, economic and social council, five, international code of justice, and six, the secretariat. So there are many committees under this uh, six principles of organs. And now my experience of everyone comes. So. You will be allocated a committee and a country to represent. So you will be known as a delegate in this model United Nations. So model United Nations is nothing but another form of United Nations. So since you are representing your country, you need to first analyze the situation, the political relations and uh, everything going on in your country. So you need to research more before before attending an MUN. That's very important in order to like uh, speak a lot in MUN. So first let me tell you like why you need to attend MUN, my friends. Because one, it increases your creativity and it increases your speaking skills. It increases your critical thinking and uh, writing skills. Then. Uh, then about uh, leadership abilities and, and what else you can say yeah, like overall development you can say like you can you need to think a lot to like adapt to the motion they raise so yeah to tell about the motion motion is nothing but a topic you can say an agenda being passed in the committee so there are two types of uh, discussion you can say that takes place that is moderated caucus and unmoderated caucus. The moderated caucus is nothing but uh, there will be a discussion taking place about 20 minutes where a uh, speaker is allotted for like 20, 60 seconds to discuss about the agenda. An agenda will be raised in the motion. So that's what this moderated caucus means. Like you need to only stick to the agenda and speak related to like what's your opinion about the agenda. 
and whereas the unmoderated caucus is nothing but uh, it's like a common distance where right? you, you can interact with the delegates of other countries there will be no restrictions you can just talk with them you can have time like spend time with them like discuss about the committees and all so you can discuss anything about uh, the agenda that is unmoderated caucus so like it will be a kind of fun you know you need you will be able to uh, know the delegates of other countries you can make good friends too in that unmoderated system so many prefer to go for unmoderate like they raise for unmoderate they support for unmoderate caucus yeah it's actually fun then to tell about the gs that's very important my friends gs which is known as general speakers list yeah this gs the general speakers list is for the beginners so i was a first timer and i attended mun at sar ramapuram like uh, re very recently that is on 7th 8th and 9th of this month september so it was a very great experience my friends i gained a lot so gs list uh, like let me come tell you about gs that is general speakers list right it is it is for beginners you can speak on like related to agenda you can speak uh, uh, like you can share your views about the agenda like you, like you can say that i support this country for raising this motion i support them since uh, i have like uh, i was you like yeah on the first day i was telling you i was given this accessories that is this file is really very quite fine my friends by sr brahmapuram united nations which is yeah it was held on 7th 8th and 9th september of 2018 like i was very i was impressed on the first day by seeing these accessories and they even gave this notepad for writing the notes yeah so notepad writing the notes and this is known as the chit pad like during the moderate caucus session you can uh, write a message like from a country your country and to the delegates country and you can write some message like uh, you can say it as like what's what's the main idea about your to your topic is about like what's your main idea of today's session or what's what you are going to discuss in today's session then this one yeah this is a very attractive thing so i represented luxembourg and the name of the committee is i uh, yeah disarmament and international security committee it is known as unga dice so that is united nations general assembly unga means united nations general assembly so under the uh, organ the like principal organs of un general assembly i represented this committee dice disarmament and international security committee and we discussed uh, on the agenda uh, nuclear weapon free zones to establish nuclear weapon free zones in the middle east so it was really a very hot they kind of a very hot topic you know but um, the main speakers like the important speakers of that uh, you can say that agenda where is israel syria iran usa russia so they were like important speakers so many ex like experienced delegates like speakers represent the delegates of those countries and it was a very great experience my friends like i knew the legal standard of mine so even though i am very good at like good at english like speaking and all but at that moment to adapt to that uh, agenda is like kind of very challenging one so it's like when you attend more events you'll be able to uh, like uh, become like them like to speak more like adapt to that situation so i recommend you all to attend an event because you will real you will uh, really gain a lot of experience like you will gain a lot of information to you like about current affairs going outside india so it is also very important to know right like to know about the current affairs the political relations the war affairs and all going on going on outside india is very important to know when it comes um, uh, like any competitive exams you need to face and the another advantage of attending mun is you resume like you can include this experience in your curriculum vitae which is like it will uh, or uh, it will boost your curriculum with curriculum vt and even an invitation if you show this file if you if you give this file just see the progress you can like you can feel proud to give you can 
have that attitude to give this file to the interviewer and you know like you understand what I mean like it's a proudest moment and you can share your experience about everyone and you can just like show the tug tug life you know so it was really great experience my friends it was really great and I recommend you to definitely attend at least one interview in your life so this yeah as I said this boosts your curriculum really and uh, and another advantage is if you have a lot of experience like to like uh, if you have attended 40 to more than 60 visits in Newman, you will really represent our country India as a delegate in the UN that is the original United uh, you need to also uh, give importance to extracurricular activities too my friend you need to have the balance between academics and extracurricular activities so if um, because extracurricular activities determine your hidden potential, determine you, it will help you unlock your hidden potential and you will like make yourself aware about yourself. So that is very important, you know, to know about yourself, your strengths and weaknesses is very important. So attend many extracurricular like events, competitions and all. So, um, so support my channel, share and subscribe my channel please keep click the uh, bell button at the bottom of my page and do comment my friends leave some suggestions suggest like what else can i include